Hi everybody, it's Jen. We're gonna get started in two minutes, um, but you will need a set of weights or two and a mat for today's routine. Okay, so welcome. My name is Jen. This is Fitness Challenge. Um, I got my booster, feeling a little mm, not so great, so I'm going to lead you through the workout. We'll see how it takes me to do the workout. Maybe I'll take some more breaks, whatever it happens to be. So I'm going to do me, you do you. Um, that's how we're going to do the three minute complexes today because it's really easy to adjust the intensity, um, the amount of breaks, the weights, all that sort of stuff based on your needs. Once you get started with those three minutes, you don't have to worry about anything else. And then when the three minutes is up, we'll come back, we'll reconfigure, and we'll do another um, complex. There are five complexes in total. I will have the complex written here. Hopefully that is viewable to you. And obviously I will tell you what the things are too. Um, but we're gonna get started very quickly, so. There is no jumping in today's workout, so no worries about that. And if you're like me and you're like, oh, I wanna do something today, but I don't wanna go full out, modify, take things easy, do what your body's telling you, but be honest with yourself too. So if you feel like you can do a little bit more, do a little bit more. If you feel like you maybe you should be doing just a walk today. That's totally cool. We always have options for ourselves. So make sure you have room to move around. Um, you have some water, you have your weights, you have something comfortable to kind of lay down on so you do have some core exercises. And we're just gonna get started with some warm-ups. So we're just gonna swing those arms. And so you see I'm kind of in the, the background of today's video. You can see what I'm doing. I'll go through some modifications and things like that, but it's your routine. And then let's just swing a leg and hold on for balance if you want. Other side. Bring your arms up and over. And if you want to intensify the stretch, you can bring the leg across. So it's one big stretch all the way from the ankle to the wrist. If that's too much, and cross that leg. Let's do the other side. Let's cross it over first with the upper body. And then if you want to add in the lower, feel free. Release, let's bring those feet about shoulder width apart, and let's just do a little squat and pound for one, two, three, four, five. Come up, reset, we're doing that four more times. Come down for one, two, three, four, five, and up. Down for one, two, three, four, five, and up. Down for one, two, three, four, five, and up. Last time, five, four, three, two, one, come up. We're gonna go down to the ground, and I just want you to tap a shoulder, tap a shoulder. And if you wanna do this on a wall instead, that's totally fine. We're gonna tap and tap. Maybe I'll just stay here so I'm frame better than I would be on the floor. And I'm just tapping their shoulders, trying to keep the rest of my body as still as possible. I don't want to be swinging back and forth. 
if I need, if I feel like I'm swinging, I can always go down on my knees for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Beautiful. Come on up. Let's bring it in front and let's move around that ankle. Other way. Other side. Ankle. And other way. Release, bring those arms back behind. Open up that chest. If this feels good, great. If you want to bring that upper body down, bend those knees, bring those arms up overhead, intensify that stretch as an option. Release those arms, super wiggly loose, shake them out. And then roll it on up. Okay, first three minutes, we have squats and push-ups. Super easy, I'm gonna start off super easy. So if you, if you can read this, this says squats, push-ups, 10 repetitions each. So if you don't wanna do 10 repetitions, you wanna do 20, that's fine. If you wanna do five, that's fine. If there's two exercises that you're like, I don't wanna do push-ups, I wanna do something else instead, bicep curl, cool. Whatever, whatever it is, your choice. I have, in this particular instance, an upper body and a lower body or a lower body and an upper body. So if you're gonna switch it, make sure you switch it to something kind of along the same line. So I'm gonna have weights in my hands or not. I can have my feet run underneath or I can have them more at an angle and do more of a sumo squat. Totally my call. I'm gonna do 10 squats, my pace, my depth, my weight, and then I'm gonna to go to the ground or to a wall or to a bench and I'm gonna do 10 push-ups. Back to back to back in three minutes in a row, hopefully consistent. Although, if you need to take a break, please do so. Then we'll have about a minute and then we'll start with totally different exercises. All right, cool beans. All right, let's get started in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Squats and then push ups. And then back to squats. Again, remember you can change out the weight as needed. You can change out your body position as needed. You can go faster, you can go slower. This is your workout. You can have your weights racked up high. We're more than halfway done here.
right, we have 34 seconds. Keep going all the way to the buzzer. Unless you were actively taking a break, of course. But we have a minute break coming very soon. And release, put those weights over to the side. And our next exercises are core base. So we have side plank hip dips and crunches. Our number here is eight, unless you choose differently. So we're gonna do all these hip dips on one side. I'm picking my right, you can pick your left. Side A, and then regular crunches. So we're going to be on our knees or on our toes here in a side plank and you're going to lift, lower those hips, come back up, coming like really, really close to the ground, eight of those, and then you're going to roll onto your back and crunch eight times and just switch back and forth between the two. Remember, if, if eight isn't enough to feel a burn, make it 10, make it 15. We're ready to go. Fast breaks. Two and let's go. Side hip dips and just crunches. I'd like you to count to see how many rounds you're going through on this side because you do have to match on the other side or close to it. If your hands behind your head aren't comfortable for you, bring those hands in front of the chest. Just make sure you're not pulling with the neck. Big thing. All right, we have a minute and 38 seconds left. We're just about halfway. One more minute. We have 23 seconds. Keep it moving. Instead of crunches, we have the chance of doing full sit-ups. If full sit-ups aren't your wheelhouse and you want to do crunches again, that's fine. But I just wanted to make it a little bit different for that core. So realizing that sit-ups take 
a little bit more time than crunches do. That's why I wanted you to kind of count how many rounds you did. So you can get as close to the number of hip dips that you got on side A versus side B. And maybe that means you do four sit-ups instead to kind of match the time you did for the crunches. It's your, yeah, you get, to, you get to play around. And I'm trying to get myself some, I'm in, at least a little bit in frame. All right, ready? Let's begin. Pull those hands across the chest, bring those arms behind the head. We are at a minute 38, just over halfway, and we're halfway through our workout too. Just under a minute. How are we doing on those hip dips? Remember, if you get tired, you can always go onto your knees. So I'll do this set on my knees. I don't know if you can really see me. I'm here. I'm lifting up and down. And the sit-ups. 20 seconds. Five seconds. Keep going all the way to the bell. All right. We are on to four out of five now. We have some more weights if we want to use them. And we have alternate side lunges and diagonal raises. So I'm gonna use a pair of weights here. I'm gonna use them both when I'm doing the alternating lunges and then drop down to one for the diagonal raises. So we have to one side and then to the other side. That equals one. And what did I say we're doing? I said we're doing 10. And diagonal raise is you're going to take the weight and you're going to push it up at a diagonal and back down standing. I don't want you to just swing. It's up and out. We're ready? All right. Weights can be wherever they want to be. Get 
If you only want to do five to each side, do 10 total, that's fine. Just be consistent. And then I'm putting one weight over to the side, and I'm going to push up and out. We have a minute and 25 seconds. seconds. Take a break. I'm actually going to hit pause in my room, get my dog. Take a break, breather. I'll be right back. Okay, the last grouping for today, we have around the world and similar squat pulses. So for around the world, you're gonna need little weights. And similar squat pulses, you could hold on to them or you can drop them, your choice. So we have 10. So for around the world, Around the world, we're gonna have a little bit. I'm just not doing it all today, huh? All right, we're gonna have our weights here and go around. So I'm gonna grab a little weights. I'm gonna go up and down into a big circle. And then for my sumo squat pulses, my feet are gonna be out and I'm gonna pulse. So I have 10. If you want to do 10 around the world and 30 pulses, cool. All righty, we are going to start. In three, in two, and one. I'm gonna kneel to stay in frame, plus I don't trust myself. This is our last complex. Standing on up, feet out, let it out, weights if you want them, and pulse for 10, 9, 
eight. And then right back down or standing. Ooh, that was out of the way. Always move your weights out of the way. Even if it takes an extra couple seconds. You should know it takes more time, go into the emergency room. We have a minute and 23 seconds. That's it. Five seconds left. Make sure you're not swinging. I don't want to hear about you doing this. Back is totally straight, even if that means dropping the weights altogether. We have 15 seconds. All the way to the bell. Five, four, three, two, and one. Put your weights over to the side. And let's stretch it out. Alright, I'm going to head down to the ground. This is safer down there. <clears throat> and I'm going to bring my feet together in a cross-legged position. I'm going to step nice and tall, and I'm just going to kind of do some little hip circles here. Grab some water, take your time, show me when you're ready. And then switch direction. Let's keep the hips still and let's move just the waist. You want to put your hands on your body to feel. Smaller circle. Switch directions. Come back to center. Tricep stretch. Bring that elbow up towards the ceiling. Other side. Release, bring that arm behind. So I'm doing this, just behind. Sitting up nice and tall, pulling that shoulder back and down. And switch it out. Release, let's bring those legs around and have you sit on your heels, toes tucked under. Just give those feet a little bit of a stretch. And then uncross those toes, bring those hands behind you, push those quads up, bring that belly button up towards the ceiling. And release. Let's 
bring one foot in front and let's lean on in first. So we're feeling the stretch on this back thigh. So right here, but on this back leg. And then let's lean back, toes up towards the sky, and then walk those fingertips down. Try to keep as much of a flat back as you can. Kind of arch a little, that's fine, but I want you to be one big hunch. And release, let's push to the other side. Same thing, we're leaning in first. And then leaning back, heel up towards the sky. Release. Let's just swing those arms around all noodle like, letting them go wherever they will go. And then roll the shoulders backwards. Roll those shoulders forward. And then turn a little bit to the side, bring one leg out. And let's lean forward. Come on up, switch it up, other leg. And lean forward. Release. Let's bring those arms in front. Have one arm go underneath the other. Elbows up towards the sky. Release. Same thing, other side. Lift those elbows up high. And release. That's it. We're done. Have a happy Friday. I will be back next Friday. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll be in any better shape. I'm going to the dentist again before class earlier in the day. So we'll see how much snow we can I have in me, but there will be a class regardless. <laughs> um, hopefully I don't literally fall over my waist next week. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you later. Bye.